Hello everyone, uh, it's Donovan. I'm back with another add-on guide here. Today we're going to cover some uh, unit frame replacement. It's called Shadowed Unit Frame. You can see the one sitting right up here for myself. Looks quite a bit different from the uh, Blizzard standard UI unit frame. Um, I guess not really all that different. Still got a portrait and mana bar and class bar there. But uh, if we click on it, you can see my target, 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 target up, target, 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 target whatever. Um, but so that's pretty standard. And if we had a party, those would be lined up down over here as well. But it, just simply changing the look is not exactly you know worth installing an entire add-on to do. So let's uh, look at some of the additional functionality. So if we go into the options by typing slash suf shadowed unit frame, we can get here. We obviously we got the profiles here. Um, this is kind of the uh, the texture, which you can do with that. Um, different types of textures. You can see how that changed there. You know, however you like it. Uh, we'll leave it as a uh, glaze for now. But uh, you can change the fonts inside there, the size of them. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. The colors, I probably wouldn't mess around with that too much, but if you wanted to see certain things, you can actually change the colors using a color picker. Of course, different profiles, and of course, the text management. Uh, the enabled units. Uh, one of the things you might see in my other UI pieces uh, and guides, the whole building a better UI series, um, you don't, you maybe you don't need all of these turned on. Um, if we If we go over here in the general section in the general tab and go ahead and unlock the frames, you can see all the different frames that are available. Let me bring these pause frames over so we can see the options too. Um, it, you start to get a lot of frames up here. And this is the party frames I was telling you about before. Um, you don't need all that information. Uh, the party frames are, if you have a decent raid frame or you know these party frames are just superfluous and you, you don't really you don't need them um, so what I like to do is come into the enable units and turn certain things off uh, like the party get rid of that garbage gook these boss frames these are uh, multiple boss frames so you can track the boss's health without having to target them um, I prefer to have my uh, DBM boss health frame, DBM boss health frames up. Uh, I don't like having these or take up too much screen real estate for my liking. You might like them, and there's multiples for fights like Shanix where there's three different bosses. Um, but for the purposes of this, we'll go ahead and turn those off. Um, I personally don't like a focus, and therefore don't need a focus target. I do like my target to have a target of target, so I know when I'm tanking if something's targeting me. But I do not need to know the target of my target, 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 and so on. So we'll go on there, turn that off. Now you see we, we're down to four. So that has cleaned up things considerably. But what we can do with the unit configuration is to start making some global changes here. Um, and if you uh, go to like just the player, you can change where the portrait portrait is. You see right now the player portrait is on the left hand side. If we wanted to, we could put it over on the right hand side. Um, again, personal preference. You can actually turn it off if you wanted to. Save some CPU cycles. I personally kind of like the combat fader. What that does is 
if you turn that to 40, it, when it's inactive, it kind of fades out to 40% of its visible value, kind of, so it ends up being see-through. And when you enter combat or target something, it's completely silent again. Um, the frame, the player frame, you know, you can change the size. Yeah, great sound effects. Lovely. Um, might want to edit that out later. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, but you can change the scale height, all that kind of good stuff. The bars, the bars are probably going to be an important part here because what you're going to want to do is scroll down to the bottom here and enable cast bars. And then if you notice up here, there's a, another spell that spell rank one down here, test spell rank one. That wa if you watch the frame right here, you can see what I'm talking about. Well, it's nice to have that there, but you don't want it there all the time, especially if it's, a, you know, on a hunter who's not actually casting all the time. So what you want to do is down here in these options, you can hide it. When it's empty, it just makes it disappear. The only time you'll see that bottom cast bar is when they're actually casting. So that comes in quite handy. But what you actually want to do is have that on the target. And yes, you're going to have to set these up on... Uh, each individual. You can actually set the globally player uh, and your target both at the same time. You know, so you can do that kind of stuff to more than one entity. Um, or as are the buffs and debuffs and stuff if you want to have those. The different indicators, you know, you can have set on there. Kind of neat things to mess around with there. Aura filters, again that's for uh, hiding blizzard frames. You know, right here, if you want to start showing things and stuff like that, again you have to do a reload. Here you can get uh, interesting with different zones. If you want to go into party instances, you can turn certain things on and off or disable them based off of where you are. Okay, So that comes in quite handy. But one of the things we want to do here is, along with keeping the better UI, we want to move these around. So we can actually move them as a whole group because they're linked together right now. Okay, But if we unlink the frames, we can move them one at a time. Now I personally tend to arrange my unit frames like this just a little bit below center and I leave a space in the middle for stuff like Altraxian's extra uh, extra button one I think it is that shows up right there for uh, her heroic will um, also you know stuff like your uh, cast bar shows up down there and DBM warnings you know maybe that's a little bit too close together and even so you, know, you might end up with something like this but you get the idea where you can start moving things around and it's different shapes and sizes. You notice the target is smaller than the pet. You know, maybe you want to uh, change up the pet size there. Unit configuration, pet, frame, width. And we'll take that down to 100. And we'll just bring it right over. So yeah, there you go. So that's a little bit about shadowed unit frames. And then if we just go ahead and lock them, everything goes away. You can see how mine faded out there. But when I target, they come in full. And of course the target and target of target, since I'm targeting myself. And there you go, there's somebody who's targeting other people. But, so that's shadowed unit frames. Enjoy!